Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Uh, I am quite happy to report that we are actually clearing all of these fields. Some of these fields have already been cleared and most of these only require one more trip from... Um, ooh, yeah, one more trip. Okay, and I believe... Yeah, I believe it'll be cleared. I believe we'll be able to clear all of our um, crops. Uh, before it starts to decay or if it decays it'll be very very few so I think we've got enough vehicles here now I've got like how many 12 vehicles operating the 12 fields and I think that kind of works quite well and uh, let me just have a look here so what I've done is I've built these supply depots or supply depots yeah uh, kind of vehicle depots and they um, and I'll kind of move things through um, from the one to the other uh, from, from the agri farm, I'll move the vehicles into the agri farm. So now I've got more tractors in the agri farm and less um, harvesters. And what I'll do is, once we have done the sowing, I'll move them back. It's a little bit of a micromanagement, but hopefully that'll make uh, make us do this thing a little bit quicker. But I don't think it's necessary, considering we're actually clearing um, or pretty much clearing the fields. Now that it's snowed, um, I'm not sure that we will. It'll be maintained. Uh, yeah, I think it's 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 being lost fairly quickly now. Just want to have a look here. Okay, there comes uh, this is a snowplow. Um, I want to have a quick look here and see how quickly this uh, decays. So 24 November, I think by the 5th of December is what I've read somewhere. There's when when it starts decaying rapidly. So I'm not too sure when that'll happen or whether we'll get the the vehicles out here. But I'm I'm very happy that we that we've managed to get most of the stuff done. So this one still needs to be picked up. Uh, is that the only one? Okay, so most fields are okay. Let's clear that out and just keep an eye on. That one doesn't need any more picked up. Okay. And that one. So this is the only one? So why is it not picking up? Oh, you know what could be the problem? The fact that um, these things might be at full capacity. I mean, the 90%. No, it's, it's not at 90%. So really, they should be heading out here to pick it up. So this guy might be heading to Big Field 4. Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. So we have started losing a little bit of it. Like, I think we've done like 4.4 tons or something have been lost here. But if that is the amount that we lose, um, I'm quite comfortable with that. That actually works. So I'm going to speed it up. See if we can get things out of there. Uh, we'll pick up the last two tons and that is it guys. That is absolutely it. So there we go um, Now with all of that work um, Done we can quickly go ahead and quickly finalize the the gravel or the asphalt roads over here So I'm happy for us to go about um, Finishing off those sections. I am busy working on that section over there There's a few other sections that we'll do but we'll we'll continue to do that through winter Let's just make sure that we've got um, the various construction offices working on it um, so construction workers and I think let's get equipment in and let's get asphalt and gravel in um, between them they should be able to deal with it rollers and stuff like that as well is going to be required so we'll get that one assigned then we'll look at the next one we'll assign those very same things construction workers um, equipment and asphalt and gravel okay let's get that assigned and continue Okay, so uh, that'll slowly start happening. This is happening at the moment. Then, thank you so much again, as always, for all the comments. And there's been some pretty detailed ones, um, so I do appreciate that. Um, some of first is why are we not asphalting the, the, the roads in Morgan Valley? And that's a good question. We're probably in a position where we can do that without too much hassle. Um, so what I'll do is I'll slowly start um, asphalting some sections. And to be honest, what we should do is we should probably put the uh, the lights on and all these kind of things. So let me, uh, we've just got so many little sections that needs to be done. I mean, look at even that, it's going to be, it's going to be tedious. Um, let's, uh, let's get cracking on, on some little sections. We'll see how that works. Uh, obviously, we've got uh, vehicles and stuff driving here all the time, but they can go around because we've got multiple routes through town. That's the one. Then we've got, um, please use the modded chemical plant instead of the instead of the small ones, the, the, the kind of vanilla ones. So let's quickly have a look at the chemical plant. Um, I have downloaded it. It's part of what I have here. So if I can find it, cargo stations, university, sports playgrounds. Uh, look, it's going to be it's going to be some kind of factory, right? 
fire station school factory. I think it's over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Here it is. Um, so we have the large, huge chemical plant. Is that what it is? This one, yeah, this is the huge chemical plant. So it produces five tons of chemicals per day, uses 500 workers, five tons of gravel, 10 tons of oil, and um, five tons of food, uh, I mean wood, and five tons of crops, and then 12 megawatts of power, hour, power hour. Okay, um, 10 tons of oil, okay. Then what we will have uh, with, the, with the normal one, um, if I go here to various industries and to the chemical plant, it does, uh, yeah, I think, wow, well, it uses the same amount of power though. So I think the other one is slightly overpowered then, because if it's using the same amount of power than this one, it doesn't quite make sense. So I think we'll do it. I think we'll just stick to the kind of vanilla ones. I don't want um, any kind of cheated or, or things that could be considered cheating um, in the game for us. Let's quickly have a look at some of our key metrics, um, if you will. Um, we've got a fair bit of coal over here. Uh, we've got definitely a fair bit of food over here. 200, almost almost a full load of food in here. We've got almost a full uh, load of crops in there and we've got almost full loads of crops in here. So one of the key things that we will be seeing throughout this winter is will we be able to get out with our food, get through winter with um, our current food supply. That is going to be something for us to check. If we don't sell food, which we don't, we're not selling food at the moment, we're only selling alcohol, uh, I want to see if that can actually get through the winter and we don't run out of crops. That is the, that is the idea for, for us to have a look at. Okay, some of our other metrics, let's have a look what's going on over here. We've got full loads of steel, we've got decent amounts of, um, of mechanical components, so we are actually exporting that. Uh, this section is being built, uh, and we'll come to a comment on, on the, build, the construction of the railway yard now. Um, all of these things seem to be running quite smoothly. We've got a big load of everything. Ooh, running out of coal. So our coal supply is not necessarily keeping up. But we knew this, right? If we're running at full capacity, we're not really running at full capacity, but potentially up that mount. I don't think we need to worry about it now, but clearly we uh, one of the next things we're gonna have to do um, is mine more coal, process more coal. Uh, actually, we it's the processing that's the problem. You can see that we are stacking up um, coal ore and coal ore is we're never running out of coal ore we just maybe we just don't have enough people to come and actually work here and now we're out of power oh and it's good thing we're out of power right now because i again forgot to switch on the cheat mode um and let's quickly just get our line spacing in luckily we're just like minutes into the game so um hopefully line spacing well line spacing could have already become a problem considering we don't have any power so pause the game to quickly have a look at what our problem is over here um, workers is our problem. Luckily, we are arriving here now. So power should be coming in. But wow, that's a low amount. Are we? The question is, are we out of workers over here? That is my question. We've got a constant load of workers over here. We've got not so constant load of workers over here. We have obviously removed a few things there. Um, let's see. Uh, one of the comments was maybe we should move that bus station. So let's have a quick look if I'm saying walking distance from uh, this bus station, right? You can actually get to all the housing apart from these few um, over here. So potentially that's, um, that's an interesting, interesting thing. But we've got a lot of workers here. Doesn't look like we're running out of workers over here. Let's go quickly go back, see how many workers do we have here. Seems to be okay. Seems to be okay. Workers are constantly coming in. We are producing. We are producing power. We have this uh, maintained at a surplus. Let's go back over here and have a look. We are now producing a little bit more. Should, I think, where do these guys come from? They're currently coming from the bus over here, right? Or do we have a little, I think we might have a little vehicle for that. Where's this guy going? I think this guy might be dropping off over here. Okay, now it's a full load. Are we now managing to drop that one down? 
Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. It's at least okay in terms of our steel production. We don't need more steel than this. Okay. Now let's quickly get to the comment around the uh, cons rail construction. So apparently, if you only have rail construction vehicles on the network, right, and then you don't have any signals or semaphores on the network then they if they kind of run into one another they just uh, despawn and start again but once you put signals or semaphores onto the network then they actually operate that way so it might be useful to actually run um run your initial construction without any signals and without any other trains um and then just get these uh, these construction vehicles to continuously uh, maneuver there was also um, some discussion about how to use signals, uh, which I'm not going to get into now. I know that we've had a few deadlocks. I'm not going to remove the signals now. I think we're really close to actually getting um, getting some other trains on the line here. I think we're really quite close. We've, we've got just about this little last section um, to deal with. So I'm not going to kind of fuss with that um, at the moment. I'm just going to leave it as is and we're going to try and do a good job with the signaling. Okay, some of the other things that were said, um, we will be needing um, more distribution offices of the farms. I think we've kind of proved that we might about have the right number there. Maybe one more or something like that could be quite helpful just to get uh, through that number a little quicker. Uh, to, 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 and then, yeah, I think that was it. That was it for some of the detailed comments. There's ob obviously other comments, but those were some of those that I thought I'd mention to you. Okay, now, what is the next thing? I, we started building um, the small town hall, and I want, I'm very keen to understand what we get from the small town hall. It's the first time, or the town hall, it's the first time I've actually had it. Um, so it's, it's critical for me to understand what's going on. This is the actual population for uh, Morgan Valley, right? Is that not enough? Okay. Not, a, not enough. What? What does it say? I mean, it's got a lot of workers there. Okay, so this is, this is just saying the demographics for this area. So now I've got detailed demographics over here. So now we know that in this town, our average age is 22, pretty young. Uh, this is our split in terms of education. We don't have, okay, pause it so I can see, not enough accountants and officers to show the stats. That's quite interesting because we've got five, so maybe it needs to be more critical mass kind of thing. Eight. Uh, come on. I'm going to have to pause it. Okay, there we go. Now, let's pause it so we can quickly go through this and understand what is going on over here. We've got heating connected and let's just let's have a look. Our heating looks okay. It's not perfect, but it looks okay. Okay, so we can see that people are generally quite happy. They have food. Their health is okay, but I don't see a number on here, so I can't quite figure that one out. They've got clothing, they've got access to sports, the culture could be a little bit better, the health could be a little bit better. These other numbers, I think government loyalty is pretty low, but I don't, <coughs> excuse me, I don't think that actually makes much of a difference. Okay, so average lifespan over here is 73, which is pretty good. Okay, here we've got our births and our deaths. That's total, that must be total immigrants and escape so that must be in the lifetime of the town now if we go to resource oh look at this look at this can we see the total amount of food is it what is in town or what is being what is used by the town over a certain amount of time uh, i think that's just what is in this town this is the resources that's available in this town why do we have this much steel in town uh, we probably have a facility somewhere that carries steel or oh, maybe the rail the rail construction yard has some steel available okay let's go to imports and exports uh, delivery costs yeah we're not necessarily exporting anything from here looks quite interesting though I'm not too sure um, foreign manpower uh, I think that's just total life something like that because there's been a lot of foreign manpower used over here six million that doesn't make sense to me. Really? That really doesn't make sense to me. Unless... I don't know. Immigrants? I don't know. It, it, I'm not too sure how to read that. And then domestic product over here. So here we can see kind of what this town is actually worth. 
um, in terms of its production. It doesn't seem to have any numbers here that, uh, that make sense. So at the very least, what we can see is we can see what the actual population is over here. So we can see that Morgan Valley is at 5,300 population as opposed to Irinsky over here at 6,300 population. Um, it's got a much larger lifespan. Um, overall, deaths, births is much better over here. Uh, we even have a lot of escapes over here. Hmm, that's quite interesting. Okay, but anyway, I'm not gonna not gonna uh, fuss on that too much longer. That's just good um, kind of good information for us to have. Let's quickly have a look at what is going on with our health. Uh, health situation is looking decent, going up towards the 90 mark over here. Let's quickly have a look at what's going on with our um, heat. Mm, 18, 19. That's okay. That's okay. Over here, we're dropping a little bit because of, of obviously of range. Uh, actually. Yeah, but anyway, maybe this thing is starting to, yeah, struggle. Yeah, too many uh, too many connections. So we do need to have a look at um, improving that situation um, a little bit over here. So that's one of the things that we'll have a look at. Now, the next thing is I wanted to just come and have a look at the food situation over here. It's dropped a little bit. Okay, we're out of food. <laughs> Pause, let's have a look. Are we out of food over here? We do have food available over here. So where does this guy's food come from? Let's just go back. Have a look. Morgan Valley um, Small Distribution Facility is actually um, kind of tasked with providing food over here. So it is unloading. It is unloading food at the grocery store and at the grocery store number two. Okay, all these kind of things, and it is loading at the CP Dandelion Road Cargo Station. Okay, so it is actually coming over here for its food it's local it's local food over here so what i need to have a look is just make sure that we are in fact unloading food from from somewhere else over here we are loading food at um, soft cost food and alcohol and we are unloading what so there is a bit of an issue here then Station. Oh, Customs House. Oh, okay, we're buying and we're unloading over here. Okay, well, let's um, let's stop buying. We don't need to buy anymore. We can unload over here because we're loading it from over here. Let's just double check that it is in fact the right place that we're getting it from. It is the Road Cargo Station connected to this spot over here. So that is full up on food over there. Okay, so what we do however need to just double check is that we've got sufficient vehicles to bring things along uh, and we don't have extra spots so let's have a look over here but all of our vehicles currently in use we don't necessarily need these dumpers right these op oh there's are open holes hmm but maybe what i could do is i could move two of them out of there and we'll just put two covered holes in there so that we can move our food a little bit more effectively so I'm quite keen on moving this guy over here. These are also quite old, so let's uh, and let's move that guy over here. So we'll rehouse those two over there. Um, at the same time, what we'll do is we'll buy another couple of covered holes, something that can do a pretty decent travel time and distance. There we go. We'll grab two of those guys, the LZ100s, and we will um, place them in here and um, we'll need to wait a little bit for some of these things to just move out of the way there we go okay so we get a little bit hopefully we'll get food here a little quicker now um, let's check out other facility here there's uh, no food over there though uh, any food over here excellent there's food here um, there's clothing and stuff over there and there's no food over there grocery store um, so we've got three grocery stores Let's quickly see um, if our distribution... I think we've got another distribution office here that's dealing with it. Yeah, this is the, the small distribution office. So it's unloading at small warehouse, grocery store, grocery store um, 2, and grocery store 3. And I obviously want that number to be up a little bit higher, 80% at least. Okay, good. So hopefully we'll get that under control. Let's quickly go this way and see what's going on what's our food situation over here even this number is low did we run out of food at the moment this is the only oh we've got ooh. 
that's interesting. Irinsky. Uh, ooh, actually, we only. Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm looking at the wrong thing here. Here we actually have um, this. So there, are, there is food available. Food is available over here. So I don't need to worry about that just yet. Okay. Okay. So one of the things that we need to look at is how on earth are we going to provide additional heating in this area? And I think in order to not go too far away from the heating plant, I, I think we should run um, maybe another heating heat exchanger somewhere over here so that we kind of do, do that area, um, that we do um, a close proximity over here and then a little close proximity over here so that we've got a little bit of an overlap going on as well. So if I go into infrastructure and to the heating facilities, I'm looking at a large heat exchanger. We'll, uh, we'll need a little bit more support there. Okay, and if we do the heat exchanger, maybe somewhere over here, it, it should actually have a pretty decent overlap. I like I like the idea of placing it here. Yeah, it'll it'll give us a little bit of an extended. Um, alternatively, we could try and squeeze it in in here so that we uh, cover a little bit more in this in this general area have a slightly less, less of an overlap there. Um, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's place this one in here. Okay, let's do that. We can start construction on this straight away. I'm, hmm, I'm tempted to do, do a little bit of this. So let's, um, let's just bring that one out of there and come on. Really, you can't possibly, you can't possibly have each take issue with that. There we go. Um, so let's commission that so that construction could start. We'll have a look now to see if that's actually underway. And then we'll need to start looking at what's going to happen with our piping over here. Okay, so let's have a look. Ooh, we could run. We could actually run something along, along here and straight in through there. It might be a short distance to travel. So let's, uh, let's try that. Let's see what that's all about. We'll go with the big one. Yeah, big one. Now we will start it over here. And we will go up and over, run it all the way through there. Ooh, I do like it. That's pretty good. Um, and then what we can do is we can slowly Twist it in over here. I'm quite happy to keep it quite up and high, up high. That's uh, very nice and shapely. Uh, what I am a little bit worried about is that we're not actually going to make the distance. It's too long. Wow. Okay, pause the game. Stop the construction. I think I'm going to put it here so we don't have to put a put an extender. Or is that uh, going to be problematic altogether if it's at the at the longest distance? That is so close, guys. It's so close. I think I'm just going to move it over this way, so we don't have to build even additional infrastructure for it. Okay, so sorry, sorry about that. Let's cancel all of this. Uh, demolish that. Demolish this one, and try and place that over here instead. The large heat exchanger. It needs to be, it needs to go somewhere over here, I think. I don't want it um, in, the, in the way of that road though. We've got power over here, so that's awesome. Um, it is our new power facility, so I'm, I'm obviously not keeping pace of what's happening with the power there. Um, if we do that, and we grab this guy, it will in fact tie in there. That's a very nice and straight um, setup right there. Is this... Um, is this staying nice and high? Um, I would like it to stay fairly high and then just end off like that so that we can cross underneath it if we have to. I like that. That setup is, is quite good. So I'm going to go ahead and commission that. That is nice and clean. I like that a lot. What we'll do though, um, we'll need to build... Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab like a gravel road out there or mud road out there. And what we'll do in the in the meanwhile is we'll we'll see about extending 
Uh, let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. A little mud road out there is going to be just fine. It's going to have power. We're going to have all of that um, built nicely. Okay, and then this area will be available for us to potentially expand even on this side. Um, it's a lot of infrastructure right over here. So we should be able to deal with that issue over there. Uh, we are growing our connection here quite a lot. We have how many pieces of uh, of the rail is currently under construction? Um, three pieces, so we should look for a fourth one. These are done. Oh, they can't necessarily get there though. So it's three pieces. It's this piece, it's that piece, and it is that piece. So if I go ahead and connect it up to this side, we could. I didn't want to do it. I don't want to do it that way. Let's um, let's try. If I quickly go to my rail connections, wood based, can I do a basic connection in here? I don't. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it's it's dirt. It's it's not a good it's not a good one. It's not it's by no means a good one. Let's uh, cancel that. Let's try it from this one over here. Mm, it's not going to work. I'm not I'm not going to do that. We'll just uh, we'll just wait it out. We'll just wait it out, guys. We'll just wait it out. Um, come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start quickly laying out a little bit of our chemical. Um, our chemical facilities. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we get to that, <laughs> so many things. We are producing meat now. Not necessarily at a rapid rate because we're not, we're struggling with workers down here a little bit. Um, I think what I've done is I've, okay, let's just see what's going on with these roads. Wow, very slow uh, movement on some of these roads. But that one has been done. So I should be able to kind of move on to the next ones soon. How many, how many days you still have left over here? 42 days there and 36 days over there then we can start um, running some of these other sections it's a slow it's a slow going on on the roads though it is slow going on the road Ooh, one thing that we could start working on is uh, let's get back back to our roads here the other thing we could be working on is this section let's uh, let's pave that section um, nicely let's get the pavers on over here <clears throat> so I would like to get MV construction workers um, equipment and asphalt and gravel out here so you can um, at least start working on that that section can be done and then we'll need to start working oh that one's done over there so let's um hmm with that one in place that one just might be a little bit less important is this one also done that one's also done um, I'm happy for us to work on yeah, because I can go around there. I'm happy for us to work on these two sections also, and then that section will be fine. Let's just make sure to assign the various um, pieces here, the construction workers, MV equipment, and as MV asphalt and gravel. This is, I think they're closest by over here. And they're not doing much else, so we may as well. Uh, MV construction workers, asphalt and gravel, and equipment. Again over there and that's like 3 million rubles in the bank at the moment so money is not a problem for us and we can pretty well um, ex import some additional vehicles if we need to and we're going to import trains soon. Soon that should be on the way. Okay let's have a look what's going on over here. We've got like six workers over there. We've got like seven workers over there. They are producing livestock for us. Not very quickly though. We are still good on crops here. We're pretty good on crops over here and we're pretty good on food over here. Okay, now, and that's moving over here and then they are producing meat over here, but it's it's small going. So meat um, is being stored here. So I think what we need to do is at, le at the very least get ourselves an extra bus to come in here. We'll have a look at how many we have on the line now. Let's see if we've got workers available, ready to go all the time. So let's quickly have a look at how many we have. So we are looking at the um, Irinsky, or oh, actually Sofkos food workers. So there's two vehicles on the line. So we just need more vehicles on the line. Two vehicles. We're doing those blue blue ones uh, because they're pretty quick, I believe. So let's quickly come here to our um, border supply yard. This is kind of what I'm calling it now. It's this thing, right? 80 kilometers an hour for 55 passengers. IKR 256, 100 kilometers an hour, 45 passengers. Let's try two of them. I have heard good things about the IKRs. 
Um, I got 280. Mm, 45 might be a little bit too little. 30, 135 is maybe a little bit better. 55, and then how much is this one going to travel at? No, that's too too slow for me. I'd rather just do a couple more of these. Let's do two more of them. We'll assign them to, to that line. Our line is, of course, food workers. And um, get underway, please. Excellent. And now the other one that we have here. Please, um, yeah, go for Sofco's food workers over there and get on the way. I believe that should be just good for us. Let's have a look at our total population. Birds versus... Oh, my goodness. We've got a massive drop in population. A massive drop in population. We've got a big issue. Wow, look at that. Is it? Is it the? Is it the heating? Doesn't seem to be the heating. Wow, I know we have. It's not. It's not ideal here, and we're working on it. I mean, we're obviously building this. Wow, the 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 pipe is done. Uh, we just need this built, and it's underway. It's underway. Um, so hopefully this will be fixed soon. But I don't think it's the heating. Is it anything? Is it what? What is this like? Health is okay. Health is okay. Food? Food is okay. I think we can actually now look in detail and see where that uh, spike was. Um, if we go here, we can see if our population dropped. Wow, it's all in MV. Look at this population drop right here. My goodness. But our heating is okay, right? Food is okay now. Maybe maybe we had a, a shortage of food for a while. I'm not sure. You obviously um, have your own views on what happened over here. Um, leave them in the comments down below, please. Okay, let's have a look. And our temperature. Uh, are we having inconsistencies with power again? We shouldn't. We shouldn't have inconsistencies. I mean, we're, we're, we've got all the coal we need we've got all the workers we could need most of the time unless it's uh, it's a matter of we not don't have enough here can i just see let's have a quick look how many buses do we have on this line extra power workers and then this guy is running in the coal workers so let's quickly have a look at those two extra power workers is four uh, micro buses extra heat workers is two micro buses ah maybe maybe the problem lies over here i think that is where the problem lies i'm going to do two more micro buses for extra heat workers Oof. wow that's uh that that hurts that hurts big time that really hurts us obviously it's not great for the uh, residents either but that really hurts us um, if I can just go and look at buses, I just want to find what bus would be good. Any of them, really. What is that? Is that eight or six? Seven. I think it's eight. Oh, yeah, anyway. Let's grab two more of these guys. And we'll just make sure to assign them to our extra heat workers over here. Please get underway. Straight away, and I'll check. Well, now we probably have an issue with workers in town, also. Hmm, okay, extra heat workers and get underway. The other one that we had is MV Coal Workers. We've got like three buses running that route. I think I'm gonna grab an extra bus for that, also. So let's grab one more um, larger bus here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to grab that guy and I'm going to say, please assign you to the MV uh, coal workers. MV coal workers over there and we're going to try and sort it out. I, uh, this is it. If you don't keep your eye on absolutely everything, you run into big trouble. Big trouble very quickly. Big trouble extremely quickly. Okay, now what I'm keen to start doing we also obviously building more roads here which is okay i i want us to build a rail hmm i don't think the rail needs to go on this side though it could and then the rail runs into some kind of port facility here which we still need to plan by the way 
I'm not going to just start uh, plopping things down. We need to kind of plan that out a little bit. I'm, I'm pretty keen to run the rail through here. Or actually maybe a little bit more on this side. And then there's a few things that I need to do here. Chemicals, um, rail, um, and then the um, rail um, cargo, cargo stations as well. I want rail cargo stations. Oh, and that was another comment that I had. Um, instead of using a road cargo station like the one that we've placed over here, we can do a rail cargo station with these silos around it and we can still get the buses to drop off there, but then we can also use rail, which is a good tip. It's really a good tip. So I'm, uh, I'm happy about that and it's something that I will look to in the future. I'm not going to retrofit um, these now, but, um, but that's, that's good. That's looking very good. We're missing um, workers over here, but we've added the extra buses now. So hopefully that means we'll get there. Okay, now uh, we want our rail line to come in through here. We do want a bit of a bypass plus a loop into a station, maybe even a station on both sides of the line. No, actually, I think we'll run the rail down here. Yeah, so, so it's out of the way a little bit and then we'll loop with our station in here somewhere and then we'll have all of our chemical plants um, in this area. I think that's, that's about right. So if I move and grab my, my electrified rails, the idea would be that we try and run them. Okay, let's, um, let's bring them in a little bit so that a little, uh, actually a little more, something like that so that we can actually build a building or two on there, on that section. So I think that is the plan. The rail will be passing through here on its way down to the port and we'll still lay out what the port will look like. Okay, then as part of this, we need a station for, um, for our workers. So a train platform. And I'm quite happy that we could do that fairly central over here and get workers to walk to, oof, to most of this. But there's so many of these connections though. They'll definitely get here, they'll get here. Whether they'll get there, I'm not sure. They could definitely get to this one, but these big ones on this side, I'm not sure they'll arrive there. If we if we have it something like this, it's still not gonna be a possible to walk there though. So I think we are better off just placing it right over here somewhere. I am I'm quite happy having it pretty close like that that's about something like this right okay that's the plan i'm gonna just force construction on that so we finished our planning so that's the idea so now we'll get a line that pops off here as a bit of a loop we might do just on the one side though, we'll have to level up. Then the next thing we want to do is we want one of these train cargo stations or ca cargo train stations. And that needs to be connected onto a number of things. So we need to be able to make use of, okay, so if we have chemical plants up and down here, we'll need to see how we do that. So let's, um, let's maybe place that there just for the time being. Okay, and then if we use that to also provide so chemical plants need, uh, and we might have to do local wood and things like that, of course. So it, it's, it'll predominantly be for the pickup of chemicals, I would, I would imagine, ultimately. And we would need a ton of them. So let's quickly have a look. If we look at various industries and we go into chemical plants over here. These guys, yeah, unfortunately, they would, they would benefit from connecting onto some oil. Ooh, hang on. <laughs> you know what? I forgot about something. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's not the end of the world. Maybe we can still... We can still squeeze this in. Yeah, we'll... we'll it's fine. It's going to be fine. We can still squeeze this around, around this. Okay, that's fine. So what we will need is we will need a fuel storage for our chemicals. If we do something like that, it needs to kind of move on to all the others. Hmm.
it'll look very industrial over here but I don't want to necessarily block anything here if we do I want to keep these these lines as short as possible so if we have one over there and one over there this spot here could be pretty decent uh, let's just do that one for now um, I don't necessarily need to pause the game um, everything can kind of continue while we do this planning so that we continue to make money get through the winter all these kind of things let's just have a look is our road being done this is almost ready to be rolled this is being asphalted and that one's done I can't do this right yet at the moment okay that's fine now chemicals so with that one there we can do a bunch of chemical plants and we'll need to somehow tie these up okay but I need to, to put a lot of them in here and I'm gonna try and do that okay as, as best possible so let's do one there we'll have to offset them a little bit one over here um, Wow, maybe one over there and we can even put one more do we have something on that side we do not we can even do one more maybe something like this so that'd be like four as a starting point so that gives us two tons of of chemicals per day okay let's do that okay so with that in mind yeah the issue with this is they're so far away but at least chemicals are we could we could all get all of these connected and then um with with the with the factory connections and then we'll see about that okay so that's the one one side of things okay so we need a warehouse here let's get ourselves a big big uh, well the biggest warehouse we can oh that actually has its very own rail connection but i'm not necessarily interested in using that rail connection but we could use that rail connection but then we've we've got limited other options I'd rather us do maybe something like this. But we will have issues with getting some of these connected though. Yeah, it's going to be a problem in this area. In this specific area, it's going to be a bit of a problem for us to do it this way. Unless we move that one over a little bit more unless we do that so it's a little bit of a thinking process in terms of getting everything we need the other thing that we're going to need is we're probably going to need a large uh, i mean a small aggregate storage so that we can actually distribute um gravel to all of these things but that's okay we can all run them up on the one side here so the oil can come around this way uh we'll need the rail to run around here and around there we'll then provide a little bit of room for the gravel over here actually that's not too bad so if we do something like that we can run the gravel up here with the connections wow there's going to be a lot of work in here we we'll need to find make sure i think we need to move this one over just a little bit let's uh let's get this one in place i'm tempted that we just do the one direction in here and then the other direction out on the other side Mm, we'll see we'll see there's still a little bit of thinking needing needed here okay let's um could do could bring it down a little like this kind of thing yeah potentially something like that it's gonna be a little tight though this is gonna be a little tight okay so if that's the the, the play here then let's uh, grab the storage the big one um, we will try and yeah tie it maybe tie it in like something like this okay something like that and then we'll need <laughs> a lot of stuff here but I might have to get uh, get us a few more um, a few more of these going on just to make sure that we're a little bit uh, well better prepared for the chemical production so let's do two more uh, actually how much oil do you need here 20 uh one ton one ton a day wow that means we can definitely do a couple more because these guys should do at least like four tons each and we can do like two or three of them 
So we can definitely squeeze in two or three more of these guys. Chemical plants. Swing it around that way. Ooh, we need to be very careful if we do it this way though. Like that, and because they won't actually, we won't actually get the stuff in there. Potentially something like this. So we've got like six of them in here now. And the question is, do we just line them up like this instead, instead of trying to offset them like we've done over here? It should be, should it could be easier to just do that. Hmm. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's what we do instead. Then at least we have them all coming in on the same side. I think that's the, the that's the thing. If we do this, you can have all of these things come in on the one side and all of those on the other side. And then we probably best off doing them this way. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna redo it. It's gonna be a little bit of a mess if we do it that way. So let's um, let's clear all of these things out, and I'm also gonna realign all of these. Guys, this is the planning process. This is the planning process. The chemical plants are pretty pretty challenging to to place. So the idea is, I'm gonna place them like this. So I won't connect them onto the road. Oh, and we need to make room for um, the rail to come around the edge over there. So let's do. One, two, the pipes are pretty easy to get in, two, three, unless we run the rail back this way, but then the issue is if we do this one, we, we, we'll, we'll have the, okay, let's start it like that, right? And what we'll say is we're going to grab our factory connection. So now let's say, oh, there we go. End of uh, winter. Let's quickly go back. See, we've got the sewing equipment in place over here. So they can rush out straight away to get sewing. Let's quickly see what's gone on here. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. No problems whatsoever with any of our crops. Crops got through winter, no problem. Uh, but anyway, we need. They still. They, we still need to wait until the new crops is obviously available. Let's just see what happened with our population. Did we manage to tweak it back? Oof. We managed to maybe get it. Uh, did this thing start working? This thing did get working. That one. Oh my goodness! Potential. Still potential problems over here. It's still pretty cold. So let's quickly see what's gone on with our with our temperatures nice and crispy 24 um, at everything here so that is awesome i like it we could actually expand the town in here a little bit no problems with that uh, nice and crispy 24 over there what happened over here nice and crispy 24 on this side too so i think we managed to to sort out the the worst problems with these things this is enough workers over here dealing with that there's enough workers over here dealing with this one yeah We've got the coal and we've got the power. Yeah, absolutely. All of that should be fine. So I think we managed to resolve that issue. What it, I think what the issue was, was we, we ran out of food. Now food is not a problem here anymore. And food is not a problem. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Food seems to be a little bit more of a problem over here. I don't think it's the fact that there's not enough food. Maybe people can't actually get food all the time. But the, these guys can all... They can all walk there. They can all walk there. They can all walk there. So it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be a problem. It really shouldn't be a problem. I'm happy we, we placed that in here. Oh, it looks so good. We could actually run, run that road. Mm, we'll see. We'll see how, how we do with that. Okay. That's okay. I think we're okay. Uh, not sure if we'll, if we we'll manage to, um, to sort everything out though. This is still being rolled here. That section of road's been done. Um, so we've got most of our roads sorted out. Still a little section that's probably not the greatest thing. Once this is done, we're waiting on the roller, right? 
rolling asphalt. So we're waiting on the roller to arrive. Once the roller is here, and once that's done, we could probably do the other side. I don't know if we're gonna... It's, it's difficult to do them after the fact, I must say. It is really difficult. Okay, so my thinking here, let's go quickly go back to this, and we're, yeah, probably about where we're gonna end the episode, but if we go back to this, I'm thinking, don't do too much of that, let's, um, you know what? This is gonna be awesome. I think, I think I figured out what I'm gonna do. If we do that, and we do this, and we do that, okay, let's get rid of this guy. And then we'll do uh, more chemical plants. The other side, the other way around. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. More chemical plants. And I know people are shouting at me saying, no, 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 use the use the big one. Use the big one. Okay, so the idea is then let's um try and tie that in. Not like that, but well, we won't we'll see about tying them in. Uh, it's a little something like this, maybe. That's gonna be really tight. So we'll have to oof. Doesn't quite want to work the way I would have loved it to do. If we do that. Now the last connection from from here needs to then come back over here. Well, actually we can we can run it on this side. And what we'll need to do is just find a way for this rail to actually make its way back out there. There is a there is a there is a actually a, there is a crossing. There is a crossing. Let's have a look. There is a... Ooh, actually, it's a modded crossing. Uh, forklift facility. There is a rail factory co connection crossing. This one. Something like that effect. Then we can... Then we can get a warehouse in here somewhere. Well, what I'm also thinking is we can move that. That doesn't necessarily have to be there. We can we can we can move that um, up here a little bit more. Yeah, let's do that. Let us go ahead and do that straight away. So let's grab the road cargo station. Maybe place it um, something like this instead. Like that okay uh, we're gonna get rid of this we'll place that somewhere else so let's get that out of the way even that one could maybe go over there but that's okay now um, now we're gonna get the warehouse let's get our warehouse in place I'm quite yeah I think this something like that is just about the right and now we can get we could get another one in here and then have them slot through somewhere. So something like that is the idea. And what I might do is I might play around with this a little bit in between episodes and get back to you um, in the next episode on how we ended up getting that to work. Let's quickly see how many of these things are being um, sewed at the same time. We're only missing one. Yeah, we just have one too few. And that's been done. Um, so I think the real issue is we need to quickly get um, some of these built as well. So let's get another section of road done over here while we don't have those things working just yet. So let's get a section done over there and a section done over there. So we get a sign as best we can. Construction workers, equipment and asphalt and gravel. I can't believe we lost so many workers. This is a hard challenge, I must say. It is a hard challenge. MV, construction workers. Um, equipment, asphalt and gravel. There we go. Let's get those done. Our, our money is awesome. If we could start just kind of spamming out buildings and paying for them. Ooh, let's, uh, let's also upgrade this section. There's our roads. There we go. Roads. Let's uh, quickly make sure to get that section built. Right over here, let's get um, MV construction workers and asphalt and gravel over there. I don't think equipment is necessary. Um, but anyway, let's just assign it. It doesn't make it. That doesn't matter that much. So let's get that done. Also, so at least all of this is graveled, and then we'll need to move on to to asphalt at some point. And we also still need to start asphalting. Um, we just barely started um, what we wanted to do over here. But this is this is going to be tedious, tedious work for us to 
to get all of that done. So if we do that and we do this and then hopefully that will slowly um, occur. I don't think we will do that one. We'll leave this one open. Yeah, that's okay. Could do little sections, but anyway, that's slow and steady. Slow and steady is what what the what's the name of the game with this stuff because we don't want to disrupt our entire industry. I think the one here is going to take a long time, but anyway, now we can. This we'll we'll do. I don't think we'll do two, but we'll we'll um, we'll have more time to clear the crops out. That's uh, that's basically what will happen over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode. Um, in between episodes, I will continue to build this out. Um, it might have been a bit tedious looking at uh, me um, not changing my mind all the time. But the idea is generally that I want a lot of chemical plants. I want all of that stored on, on here. I want um, common distribution for oil and for gravel to all of them. Um, and potentially we'll get wood in here. I think this one can can take wood. No, it can't. We'll need another one to do that maybe. Okay, so that may be another reason for me to play around with it a little bit so that all of that can be distributed from this one place and that everything can be brought in over here. So that's uh, what I'll play around with a little bit more and then I'll show you what we're up to in the next episode. Um, obviously what I want to do is this wants to extend into some port facility over here with more stuff and this needs to go back into Irinsky um, over here. That is the idea. That is the idea. And we're still... Ooh. What's going on? Oh, I see. Now, there's a problem. Mm, I get what, they was, what, what everybody's been saying. Now we've got vehicles waiting for one another. Yeah. Uh, that one, I think, seems to be waiting over here because this is closed. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll pop up in this area and just make sure we put in another signals. I know you guys wanted to... Um, potentially need it a little bit better. Uh, where's... It's just kind of disappeared. Where's this all blue? Can't be the same block. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's uh, it's fun as always to continue uh, on this. I really enjoy um, building this out, planning it out. You know, the fact that we're making money and that we can actually uh, sustain ourselves is really something that I'm having a lot of fun with. Why is there... Interesting. So one of them is finished. Yeah, this guy finished first and now he's doing this one. Excellent. That's really good. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.